Hey gang, we're having a look at uh, the Dark Valley East Front Campaign 41-45, looking at the Barbarossa scenario, it's a six turn scenario. We're on turn four and we are two, four, six, seventh chit into it. We've got four chits to go. And actually I'll have a quick look at those and see what we got here. So we do have in fact a move for the Soviets and I have the fourth, third and second Panzer. And really the only one that matters is the third third panzer, did I say third? Uh, third panzer, uh, because, let's see why. Firstly, the uh, loss rate is starting to pick up for the Germans. I, I think I may have played a little too cautiously uh, in this game, because we haven't, um, we haven't lost enough for tanks. Uh, when the replacement cycle came around for the fourth turn, which is when you receive your uh, replacements for the armor and mechanized units, I only had two to replace instead of uh, Four or, or whatnot. Anyway, looking at the center here with Third Panther, the first thing that I've done wrong, uh, well, there's several things I've done wrong, but as, uh, as the German player, we haven't been able to keep enough units activated per turn. And if I was going to redo this, I would probably uh, keep uh, Second Panzer HQ up uh, in the north instead of moving it south. Um, and I think that was just an inadvertent mistake by me. I just split 50-50 and didn't uh, realize the, the error there. So I really needed second Panzer up there because he can activate twice in a turn. Uh, and that would have that would help a lot here. Um, so that's the first mistake, I think. And, that, and the reason why I'm telling you all this is I don't know that uh, there's any value... Depending on how the weather goes, any value in playing much more of this out of the six turns because uh, we're just not going to make it. Uh, th these stacks are getting heavier and heavier and the number of units fighting them is becoming less and less and we're starting to lose a step each uh, round of combat and we're not going to make enough progress, uh, particularly given the Soviets have a move left and then... Uh, Stavaka chit and stuff as well to do. So, and they've got seven to, seven armies or seven cores, any armies? Seven armies to bring on, which of course I would bring them all on here because we are, uh, all we need to do is capture Moscow for the Germans to win because uh, Kiev has fallen. We did try and uh, make a hard push for, um, for Leningrad and I just, I don't see that happening either and it doesn't matter now because we've captured Kiev. So there was another mistake there I think in diverting too much force towards that. We should have kept some of those mech units down in the center of the map here and and done that to reinforce the ability to attack. As the turns progress more and more of these army scale units come on and they have zones of control which very much slows down the the German advance. And what I have been pleased with is the ability to keep everyone in supply up until this turn and also um, uh, being able to move the airfields up in a kind of staggered formation so that you know I'd move one and he wouldn't be available for a little while and then we'd bring the other guy up and stuff like that. So that's all kind of worked out well and we managed to keep the Soviet defense fairly fragmented uh, as things go. Now, as you can see down here in the south, uh, Kiev down to Odessa, uh, there's Odessa right there, we really do have a, a probably an overabundance of forces in the south and I would imagine that if we were playing the uh, case blue scenario that we'd want to do something like this. Oh, excuse me. Anyway, uh, you know, have, have uh, this much force down here. Next turn or so I could certainly see uh, these two Panzer HQs uh, really taken advantage of the situation. This turn, unfortunately, they really haven't done very much because they've, cap they've captured Kiev. That really was their objective. There's no point in uh, suffering attrition or making a mistake and going beyond the box that you're required to, uh, to in order to win the game. So... No point trying to move many more of these guys. They're not going to get up to Moscow in time to try and uh, make a difference because there's no rail capability in this game until later for the Germans. So that uh, that sort of mitigates any need to do anything here other than perhaps just for the exercise capture. 
capture Odessa, which will probably fall uh, this turn or next turn, we'll see. And so that's what's going on in turn four. We're halfway through. We'll wrap up this turn and see just how far my now isolated uh, uh, divisions up there can get. I'm not sure I'm prepared to risk a minus two DRM on the roll on a two to one attack uh, against the against the Soviets. Uh, in that uh, defensive works hex here, they ignore defender retreats. So it really actually means that the only thing that on a two to one that the the Germans can achieve is an exchange, which would be a very expensive effort on uh, what is now eight nine factors that would that would uh, wipe out you know, wipe out two divisions of armor, and I think. As a as a commander trying to win the game, yeah, maybe that's fine. Just go ahead and you know, blast away because you've got two turns left to go. But I don't like losing my guys. <laughs> so I don't, I, on the one in six chance, in fact, it's not even a one in six chance because that's on an eight. So at two to one, the best you can get is a defender retreats. And uh, in fact, they don't retreat. So it would be both lose one, three, and four. So trying to retreat our way through Viasma is not the ideal plan. We would need to reorient our attack and uh, and go here. And perhaps that's what I should have done this turn. Let's see. If I had to attack there, uh, no, and that's 11. That would have been 4 to 1. And I rolled a 2 on that attack. No, I didn't. I oh, well, the defender retreat, so it would have been a no result anyway. Uh, a four to one. Hmm. All right. Well, there you go. Anyway, so it's a really interesting game. Uh, as uh, as I get a little bit further into it, uh, it seems like there are an awful lot of Soviet units on the board, uh, more so than perhaps uh, I've experienced in other titles at the same scale, and even at a lower scale operational level, uh, there seem to be uh, significantly more uh, forces on the board. For the Soviets, uh, the 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 combat tables uh, make it very difficult, and I feel I, I get, there's it's hard to kill anything unless it's a six to one or a five to one, and even then, I feel like uh, the lack of an overrun uh, opportunity is uh, is missing in the game, despite the fact that you get this this multiple activation exercise. Uh, there's often times when you know, if I could uh, just have done an, an overrun here for say, for for instance, with uh, with these, you know, with that division and had a four to one, and uh, then continued moving, assuming it was possible, or advanced further after a defender retreat rather than just into the hex, I think that would give more of the blitzkrieg effect than this dual activation business that we're doing here. So anyway, just an observation, but. Not and not a criticism, just it's different and it's all good. All right, thanks.